former social development minister Batabile Dlamini has until Monday to state her case. The Constitutional Court is set to decide if she should pay personally for legal fees out of her own pocket. Retired Judge Bernard Nguepe filed his report on an inquiry into Dlamini early last month. Nguepe says Dlamini was evasive and that her answers to key questions were, to put it mildly, less than satisfactory. He is referring to scenes like these from the inquiry, which started in January. Minister, it's a simple question. Did Mr. Maguaza terminate the contracts of the workstream leaders because National Treasury said they were irregularly appointed? Yes or no? I, Angus. I don't know. Did he tell you why Mr. Maguaza wanted to terminate the work streams? Did he tell you or he didn't tell you? He didn't explain. So, so you didn't ask him? I didn't. Did, did you call in Mr. Maguaza and ask him? I am told you want to terminate the work streams and what is the reason for you to do that? Did you ask him? I do not remember. Nguepe found Lamini unjustifiably answered with I don't know and I don't remember. She simply did not answer some questions. In his report, Nguepe answers a crucial question. Why did Lamini withhold from the court her role in the department's irregular and wasteful work streams? He finds, in not so many words, that Lamini was trying to save her own skin. But Lamini believes she's being scapegoated. Political rivals have wasted no time arguing for her exit. President Cyril Ramaphosa must fire Dojin Lamini without any further delay. We believe that the president cannot be um, running around now. He should just fire the minister as soon as possible. Lamini has until the 14th of May to respond to Nguepe's report. Then the country's highest court will decide if she should personally pay. Aaron Bates, Johannesburg.